darlings, welcome back. I'm gonna show you today on Meatless Monday how to make sushi. So I'm gonna show you everything I've got so far and then I will set the camera up so I can show you how it's made. So on my platter here I have some sliced avocado, sliced cucumbers, and sliced carrot. In this bowl back here I have some short grain sushi rice that I've already cooled down and seasoned with the rice vinegar. This is seasoned rice vinegar from Kikoman. And then for toppings on my rolls and in my rolls, I'm going to have furikake, black sesame seed, and white sesame seed. And then we have our roasted seaweed. This is the brand that I have. I got this at the uh, Asian market. Okay. So over here I have another cutting board and I have this little mat. Now normally I would put my mat inside of like plastic wrap or I'd wrap it in plastic wrap or I'd put it in um, like a Ziploc bag so that I would keep the mat clean. But you can keep, you can just wipe them down when you're done. It just keeps it where you don't have to wash it every time. But I like to keep mine in a plastic baggie. I am out of plastic baggie so that won't be happening tonight. <laughs> I also have a sushi knife. This is what I'm using to slice the sushi. And then I have a little bowl of water over here that I will be dipping my knife into to keep it from sticking to the sushi when I actually cut it. And then I have my beautiful platter over here that I will display everything on. I will make the rolls, cut them, place them on there, and then we'll do a mukbang. All right, so I'm gonna get set up. Hey guys, so today it's just gonna be my hands. Yeah, I'm wearing my bat shirt again. I love this shirt. Anyway, you're gonna take one of your pieces of nori. All right, so this is what a sheet of nori looks like, and it is just seaweed. You're gonna lay it down on your mat, okay? And then you're gonna get your rice, and you're probably gonna get, see, this is where I don't know the measurements or anything. I basically take about that much rice, okay? And I place it right there. Now, this is where it gets fun, or it gets to where you hate it because sushi is very sticky. Can you see that? It's very sticky. It sticks to you very easily. So that's what you have the water for. You have it for multiple things. You have the water for your hands and you have the water for your, um, your knife. So you wanna dip your fingers in the water and then you wanna press the rice to the edge of, let's see, you turn it like this and you can see the rice part. All right, so you wanna press the rice Make sure you keep getting your fingers wet so you don't, you don't want to saturate your fingers. You just want to keep them wet so that it doesn't get the rice to stick to you. You want it to stick to the nori. All right. So you want to push the rice to the edges of just one side. You don't want to do it all the way. All right. And I'm a little shy. I need a little bit more rice. And you'll, you'll figure it out the more you make it, how much rice you actually need. You want to go about three-fourths of the way up with your rice. And you just want to keep adding rice until you get a completely covered one. And you can see it's sticking to me even with the, even with the, what you call it. All right, and then I take what's left on my fingers and I kind of push it on the edges and I smush it down. And you'll see why when we get to rolling because that part makes that'll be your your edge your sticky edge kind of think of it like an envelope you want to have that edge sticky so that it will roll together all right i'm gonna rinse my hands off all right so i rinsed my hands off and now on the mat if you can see we have the rice and it's all against one edge okay and then what you're gonna do in the center of your rice area, not the end, not the not this side, you want to go to the center of it. What you're going to do is you're going to take, and we're just doing a simple one today, you're going to take your cucumber and you're going to lay a couple pieces in the middle, just like that. You're going to take your carrot, place your carrots right next to your cucumber. All right, now for your avocado, and I wish I had riper avocado, but this was not as ripe as I would like it to be. You're gonna place your avocado on top of your cucumber and your carrots. And my cat says hi. All right, so you should have something like this. Wipe my hands off and show you. So this is what you have, you should have going on right now. All right, so I'm gonna turn this back around 
So what you're going to do is you're going to lift this edge up, okay, the edge closest to you, not the edge that we have sushi, or not the edge that has seaweed still, and you're going to roll it with the mat, okay, you see, over your fillings. You want to grab your fillings and you want to make sure that you're pressing over your fillings, okay, and you're going to use this mat to roll and squeeze. You want to squeeze and roll. Now you don't need the mat after that unless you just aren't comfortable and you just want to keep rolling. Alright, now what I like to do in addition to the rice is I like to take my finger, get it wet and go over that area to make it even more sticky. So when you finish rolling, give it a press. I like to push in my ends in case anything popped out. Those are the cook's treat. And then you can take your mat again, roll it over, Kind of give it a little squeeze, just so you have a little rounded sushi roll. Alright, unroll it, and there you go. You have your sushi roll, and it is falling out. <laughs> Alright, so that is the traditional sushi roll. Okay, I'm going to put it over here on my platter, we'll cut those in a minute. This next one, I'm going to, if I have any plastic wrap, I do not. So it's going to be a little messier on your platter, but that's okay. Um, for this one, what you want to do, get your, your nori sheet, lay it down, and this time you're going to cover the entire surface with rice. Alright, All right, so just start pushing and you're going to push this all the way to the edge, because this is going to be our outside of our roll. Okay, you just want to make sure all of the nori is pretty much covered. And this is what you should have going on. An entire sheet of nori covered in rice. Now, I like to make mine fancy. Sometimes on the outside of these, you'll see different, uh, like avocado, mango, stuff like that on the outside, on the tops of these. And I can show you how to make that, but I don't have that stuff tonight. But I can show you how to make that in a future video if you're interested. But on this one, I like to take some of my uh, sesame seeds and just kind of... Sprinkle them on top. I like to take some of the black sesame seeds as well. I just think it looks pretty. And you gotta be careful with this because it will come out fast. It's got an opening like that. So you wanna just very lightly sprinkle. And this has sesame seeds in it as well. All right, so you've got your topping on there, right? This is, this is your top, okay? Now, if you had plastic wrap, this is where you would put the plastic wrap on top so it would not go anywhere. Because guess what? We need to flip this over now. So this is where two mats come in handy. <laughs> I like to take the other one, put it on top, press it down, just so it stays. Flip it over, take your mat off, and now this is where you're going to place your sushi. Alright, so same deal. You're going to put this one I kind of like to go a little further this way. Because remember, normal sushi rice stops about here. So it's still in the middle. So we've got our carrots. And you can put anything in these. I mean, the combination is endless. Alright, and we're just going to take our avocado right on top. You can smush your avocado into the rice when you make it. You don't have to put it on top. You can put it into your rice. Um, you can put it however you want. It is your sushi. Make it how you want. All right. Now, same drill. I'm going to flip it over. We're going to take our mat, hold our filling, and we're going to push it over. Make sure our filling doesn't pop out. And make sure that top touches that seaweed. All right. And once it starts, start peeling away that roll. And this one you do not need 
to get it wet because you already have that sticky rice on the outside. All right, and there's your inside out roll. Again, it works best if you have the plastic wrap so you don't have this situation going, but it's delicious nonetheless. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my other two rolls and then we'll get into the mukbang. So you're going to take one of the regular rolls, all right, you're going to dip your knife in the water. So what you're going to do in the middle, right in the middle, find the middle, and you're going to very easily, you don't want to drag it, you want a sharp knife for this. All right, once you get that one cut, go back in, get your knife wet because you don't want it to stick when you do your next cut. So then here you're going to cut down the middle. Same thing, cut down the middle. And you also don't want to break the roll either. You don't want to flatten the roll out. So you want to kind of, you know, make sure you're careful with it. And then in between each one of the rolls, I'm going to cut. And I still kind of mess up a little bit sometimes and that's the nature of the business, but So you have your ends piece. You don't want that, that's not pretty. So it's the chef's treat. Mmm. Again with that one. You don't want that. That's what you want. You want pretty sushi rolls. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut all my rolls up and then we'll get into eating. See, the ends kind of, you know, they're loose, they stick out. They're not very pretty. But they sure are tasty. And if all else fails, you can just make it into a sushi bowl. <laughs> 